Yes. Yeah. Welcome to Kyrgyzstan. This place is incredible and there is so much to see and do here that it is very, very hard to sum it up in a single video, but I will try my best. Whether you want to explore these beautiful rugged mountainscapes or you want to spend a day chilling at the beach or you want to do horse riding, you want to eat a lot of great food, you can do it all here. And I will show you some of my favorite things to do. There are no particular order. So enjoy. If you have not seen my Kyrgyzstan travel guide, I would definitely recommend you check that before continuing with this video because there's tons of information there that's really, really important and you should know that before you actually start planning your visit to this country. So check that out and let me continue with the video. Just because Kyrgyzstan is landlocked does not mean you cannot do water sports here and if you are an adrenaline junkie like me, there's plenty to do here that's really exciting. Unfortunately, during my visit, the company that offers paragliding in Karakul was closed, so I had to make do with kayaking, which was really, really fun. If you want to do paragliding, kayaking, or any other water sports, even jet ski, I would recommend checking out Karakol, which is also called the adventure capital of Kyrgyzstan. Isikul Lake has some beautiful beaches around it, and you can find so much stuff to do, whether it is partying or it is just relaxing on a beach, it is the perfect spot for it. You have towns like Cholpon Atta, which are really good if you are into partying and that fun, vibrant young life. But if you want more of a nice, quiet beach life, I would recommend Kajisai. I absolutely love the place and the fact that I got the entire beach to myself, miles and miles of it was amazing and i loved how clean and clear the water was absolutely fantastic another experience not to miss in kyrgyzstan is archery it's called jia and while the european tradition of archery actually comes from wars theirs mainly comes from hunting and horseback hunting so it's a little different but you know obviously it remains the same so things have evolved it used to be horns and intestines but now it's wood and string and these are obviously the same but it's completely different I'm obviously really rubbish at it. It only took seven attempts to finally hit the board. <laughs> you will see, but it's quite a fun experience and you get to see, you know, how, how different it is. It's actually quite interesting how much you have to pull. Like it takes a lot of effort to actually pull it a little bit further. Definitely recommend it. And usually it comes with the eagle hunting, so you don't really need to book it separately. Yes. Yay! Did the first <laughs> one actually hit the board. <laughs> I am with the Eagle, her name is Soleka and this is one of the experiences I've been dreaming of for quite some time. I'd never seen an Eagle this close to me and they are just magnificent, they're really beautiful and they kept like you know their babies, they train them, they feed them so much every day and they keep them for about 20 years and then they're sort of let go freely in there. I didn't know that the Eagles actually live up to 60-70 years so beautiful and so scary at the same time if you want to book this you'll have to work with someone who's a certified um, eagle man because you could go with someone who's amateur but they don't really take care of eagles so i definitely recommend booking like a proper experience so um if you want to do this they will show you how they hunt 
and train them how to hunt and also how they just call them and apparently they can come as far as five kilometers away which is crazy but they're beautiful and so massive and magnificent i'm amazed and scared at the same time welcome to kyrgyzstan There are plenty of hot springs around Kyrgyzstan, but the ones that I absolutely love are the Alten Arashan Springs. Actually, the name Alten Arashan literally means Golden Springs. This is a surprise of Alten Arashan, the hot springs. These springs are a little bit of a secret because there is no signage of where you find these and you need to go with someone local to show you where they are, but it is an absolutely epic experience. I absolutely love a good hike, especially in nature, and Kyrgyzstan is just the perfect place for that. There's so many places you can go hiking and with so many mountains around, you're never far from a good hike. Some of my favorite places to hike are Ala Archa National Park, which was amazing, although a bit cold. The second one was Kegati Gorge and hike all the way up to Kultur Lake. And the third one, without a doubt, absolutely amazing, the Altin Arashan Valley. Some raspberries on the way. <laughs> Although the ending part is going all the way up to Alako Lake, which is quite difficult, I didn't do that part. <laughs> Kyrgyzstan has so many horses that I have never seen anywhere before. It was absolutely amazing because these animals are just so majestic, elegant and beautiful. They like it if you scratch their heads. And I love the fact that you're never far from a horse in Kyrgyzstan. I'm quite embarrassed to admit that I was actually quite scared to ride the horses, but this is something that I absolutely had to do and it went amazing. Although you can absolutely ride a horse anywhere in Kyrgyzstan, my favorite spot for this was Songkul Lake. The fact that I was being steered by a nine-year-old boy actually gave me a lot of courage and the rest of the ride went absolutely amazing. The shores of Songkul Lake are just the perfect spot for a beautiful horse ride. Food in Kyrgyzstan is actually really good and quite varied. But having a pilaf, like a proper pilaf, is an experience on its own and you should definitely have it. I would recommend Uzgin pilaf or holiday pilaf, but be careful, it does come with horse sausages, which are actually quite delicious. For a proper pilaf experience, you will need to order this in advance, about two to three hours at least and it is cooked for up to like three and a half kilos so you will have to take some of that back with you or share around it's entirely up to you but this is one experience that i absolutely adored and loved
there are a few things I really need you to know before you come to Abania. So one, you need to be comfortable with some level of nudity because you will be naked in there, especially if you want a scrub or a massage, which I highly, highly recommend. While it's not so fun while doing it, you feel really, really relaxed. Like the lady really dug in and I just feel so calm now. The sauna is really hot, but do bring your own shots if you want to go like swimming. There's a really cold water pool and you need to buy your own leaves um, if you want to do the thing in the sauna so this is one experience it's very local it's a very cultural thing and it's it, this is more like a socializing thing for these people than you know a visit to a spa so you will see people you know shaving their pubes brushing their teeth shaving their beards everything so get ready for that Welcome to my youth. So, how does it work with this interesting, amazing place that I've never seen before, but it's really interesting to learn a few things about it. Number one, like I said before, it's really, really important for Kyrgyz people. So it's part of their culture, it's part of their routine. And since most of them live nomadic lives, it's a really important part of their summer activities, life, everything. So as you see around me, it's quite fancy, it's beautiful. One family used to own one yurt and it comes in three parts actually. So these are collapsible, uh, the sides, and actually they don't use any nails. They use some cowhide instead of nails and these are collapsible. So when they need to pack it, it's quite easy to do that. So what do you think of these top 10 things to do in Kyrgyzstan? Do you find them fascinating? Do let me know in comments. Yeah. This is Brown Boy Travels and I hope you really liked this video. If you did, please do like, subscribe and comment and let me know some amazing destinations in your country. I would love to come. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, you have an amazing day ahead. Mwah.